Hello, welcome. I thought I'd do a little walkthrough for my uh, tribute to the 1986 version of the Doctor Who theme tune. Okay, hence the uh, Colin Baker shirt, of course. Okay, so this version wasn't intended to be uh, like a slavish remake or a recreation of Dominic Glynn's 1986 uh, arrangement. It's more of a tribute, so therefore this isn't really a tutorial on how this version was made. It's more of a walkthrough, uh, just to give an idea of what went into it. So I started out by listening to the Dominic Glynn arrangement a lot and then notating what I thought I was hearing into Sibelius and that's what we can see here. Now despite this being a completely digitally synth driven version, I'd say it actually has a lot more in common with Ron Grainer's original than say the Peter Howell version for example. The original key of E minor has been restored and the bass line reverts to being played by sort of one hand. I think the only big difference I can see is this triplet here which I don't remember seeing or hearing before. And then there's the slide bass. Now although I did notate it, I'm going to do a bit more on that in just a little while. Then we've got these two lines here that I've named uh, Meow and Heartbeat. These are both to give more emphasis to the bass line. Now for years, in terms of the heartbeat, I've been convinced that I can hear these three quarter note thumps immediately after the sting ends and the bass line kicks in. Now I'm not sure if they actually exist, but I decided to put them in anyway as I quite like them. And again, this isn't intended to be you know, a slavish remake of the 1986 version. Once I was finished in Sibelius, what I did was I exported these parts as MIDI MIDI parts and exported them all into Reaper and then applied my, um, my various plugins to see what we would get. So let's just pop on over to Reaper and have a look at how those MIDI tracks sound. Okay, so I've got to mention the melody. Uh, the melody section on this one, I simply use my original plugins that I used for the Howl recreation. So that's the ARP Oddity, mainly in that one. Um, Dominic Glynn for the record used a Roland Juno 6 for the bass line, uh, Yamaha DX21 for the melody, and Korg 770, I believe, for the, the sort of swoops and the cries that you can hear that give it some of its um, slightly more scary. Uh, qualities if you like. Uh, again I didn't want to do a slavish remake of this so I just stuck with um, you know my plugins that I had from before. Okay so I just wanted to mention about that slide bass uh, sometimes known as the lurch effect. Now on this version I've I, even though I notated it I decided to leave it out. Um, that was simply because I couldn't make up my mind as to whether it's actually in the Dominic Glynn version or not whether it's just very subtle or not. Certainly on the extras of the Trial of a Time Lord DVD, it is very prevalent on the 2008 5.1 and stereo remixes. It's definitely there, it's definitely in there. But having sort of struggled and wanting to sort of differentiate it a little bit from that version uh, on this, even though I tabbed it out and notated it out, I decided to not use it. Give you some background. Uh, the Dominic Glynn version was heard in season 23's The Trial of a Time Lord. Okay, it's known collectively as The Trial of a Time Lord. Uh, that was used for all of 1986. Makes me feel old. Thank you. And um, it was eventually replaced by Kef McCulloch's version in 1987. This was used until the program's unfortunate cancellation in 1989. Okay, but like I say, uh, in conclusion, it's one of my one of my favourite versions, you know, it's obviously part of my childhood. And um, yeah, excellent stuff.
Okay, and just a final thing that I wanted to say was that yes, I will be doing a proper tutorial on how I made the graphics to this. I have been asked for it before and it's been a little while, so yes, I will be getting to that pretty soon. Stay tuned. Thanks a lot. Bye.